It is an open secret that we all have private stuff on our smartphones that we want to keep away from prying eyes. From private photos and videos, to intimate chats, to banking applications and even sensitive documents. These are a handful examples of the things that you might want to keep safe. And sometimes having a simple screen lock isn't good enough because once you unlock the phone, anyone can go through your stuff and pretty much check anything. There is no secondary password for things like your gallery. So to solve this problem, Samsung smartphones have a feature called the secure folder, which as you can see is password protected. So you will need to enter your credentials or use biometrics to open this. And secure folder is like a phone inside of a phone because it's got its own separate apps like the gallery, camera app, contacts, and even a completely separate Google Play Store which you can access from over here. And if you wish to, you can sign in with a different Google account which is completely separate from the one that you are already signed in on your phone. You see, the thing is, secure folder is completely independent of the main phone so whatever you do here stays inside the secure folder which is again great for privacy. Now before you can use the secure folder feature, you will have to set this up. So what you want to do is go to settings, scroll down to security and privacy and inside tap on secure folder and then follow the instructions on the screen to set this up. It's pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not gonna explain the entire thing, we will just speed through this part. Also, you will need to set up an unlock method for the secure folder during the setup process. I ended up setting up a pin and then enabling the fingerprint option. But if you want more security, you can set up a proper password. And once everything has been set up, you will see this screen. Now the secure folder is ready for use and you will find the secure folder icon in the app drawer. So here it is. Now to add apps to the secure folder, tap on the plus button and here you can do two things. You can choose to add applications that are already installed on your phone or you can sign in into a new Google account and download new apps from the Play Store. But you know what, I think it is easier to just add the apps that are already installed on the phone. So this way you don't have to sign in into another Google account. And once you install apps in the secure folder, they will run completely independent from the main phone. They kind of have their own separate protected space and whatever data they generate will also stay inside the secure folder. So as an example, if you take a snap using the Snapchat application that is inside the secure folder and then save the snap, this snap is going to stay inside the secure folder and this will not be visible in the gallery that is outside the secure folder. As you can see, this photo is not there in our main gallery. And hey, if you like, you can move the photos from the main gallery into the secure folder. Just select whatever you like and then tap here and finally tap on move to secure folder. So whatever we had selected will be removed from the main gallery and everything will be inside the secure folder. So there you go. This is amazing because you can completely separate your private stuff from prying eyes. So I've shown you how to move photos and videos to the secure folder, but you can move any file you want to the secure folder. For this, you will need to use the built-in file manager and the procedure is the same. So first locate the file that you want to copy to the secure folder and then long press, tap on these three dots and select move to secure folder. And there you go, it will be moved to the secure folder. And the secure folder also has its own file manager and whatever you copy over from the main storage will be visible here. So here are the files that we just transferred over to the secure folder. And it is the same procedure to copy these files back to the main storage of your phone. So long press and then select move out of secure folder and there you go. So secure folder is super easy to operate. And once you are done using the secure folder, tap on these three dots and then select lock and exit. And now the secure folder will be locked. Now, what is the point of having a secure folder when someone can actually see that you've got a secure folder and they will automatically assume that you've got secret files on your phone? Well, the good news is that you can change the icon of the secure folder and its name to make it less obvious. So open secure folder, then tap on these three dots and select customize. Pick an icon from here and also change its name. 
I've renamed mine to Galaxy Store with this icon so to make it less obvious. So I don't think majority of the people will be able to tell that there is something hiding in here. Another thing that you can do is pull down the notification panel and look for the secure folder icon and it is actually not here. So if the icon is not here, tap on the plus button and drag and drop the secure folder button to the quick panel. Once you do this, you can toggle the secure folder icon on and off from here. So if you switch this toggle off, the icon will also disappear from the app drawer. So if we open the app drawer, you can see that the secure folder icon is not here. So this ultimately will give you even more privacy. And if you want to re-enable it, turn the toggle back on. And now the secure folder icon will be there. And this is why I love Samsung. Tons of features and customizability. Now, one important thing to keep in mind is that whenever someone texts you or whenever you get a notification in one of the apps that are in the secure folder, you're gonna see a notification in the notification panel. Now, of course, the content will be hidden, but sometimes getting a notification from the secure folder can give away that, hey, you've got something secret going on in your secure folder. So the good news is that you can hide the notifications of the applications that are in the secure folder and it's very easy to do. So all you have to do is open the secure folder and then long press on the app icon for which you want to turn the notifications off. Tap on the i button and then go to notifications and just switch the notification off from over here. And there you go, the notification will be hidden and you're not going to get any new notifications from Snapchat that is installed in the secure folder. So this way you can have more privacy. And the best part is, whenever you upgrade to a new Samsung smartphone, you can actually transfer over the secure folder contents to the new smartphone. The entire process is super easy and I actually have a video on how to move all your data from an old smartphone onto a brand new Samsung Galaxy. So you might want to check that out to see how the secure folder transfer actually works. So yeah, secure folder is awesome and I urge everyone to move their private stuff in here so that you can get an extra layer of privacy for your private stuff. So I guess that brings us to the end of the video and if you have any questions leave them in the comments down below and I'm gonna try and answer them. And as always if you have enjoyed make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy watching videos like these. So yeah thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos coming up next week and this is Tech Guy Charlie signing off.